I checked this right before we even start this video. Before we even start this video, let me highlight this little nigga real quick. All right, so Hassan, right? Listen, let me ask you something, right? Say uh, you go into the mall, right? And you got your little 13 and a half carat fake Cuban chains. You know the little fake Cuban chains that you be wearing? Say you go to the mall, right? And somebody up the pole on you, tell you to give them, give them your chain, give you your money and all that. I'm going to give you a couple different options. Would you A, not give your chain and fight back? Would you B, run? Or would you C, you know what? C, let's just see what, what you would actually do in a situation. What, what, what would you rather happen? As a matter of fact, to keep it all the way funky, no homo, but I'd rather suck a dick than let one of you bitch niggas punk me. Whoa, okay, so I, I wasn't prepared I wasn't prepared for that answer. That, that that's not what I was looking for. So let's let's try a different scenario. Let's say, for example, you invite one of your moderators down to your city, because you big bad uh <laughs> poppy inside cable, right? Say you invite somebody down to your city, and let's just say, for example, even though this really did happen, that a grown man fondled you while you was live on your on your channel like what, what would you do as a matter of fact to keep it all the way funky no homo but i'd rather suck a dick than let one of you bitch niggas punk me wow that that's what you would that's what you would rather do well let me just tell you this i'd rather get shot i'd rather get jumped i'd rather get chased i'd rather get beat before what you would what you would do first but just so we clear just so we clear if you had any type of confrontation or anything would you rather address that confrontation or what, what would you rather do? As a matter of fact, to keep it all the way funky, no homo, but I'd rather suck a dick than let one of you bitch niggas punk me. All right, well, there you have it. He said it himself. Let's get started. They can't stand the facts. A lot of the insane, they can't stand his rap. I'm so buffalo like I'm bandana black. But from the 716, we determine and we discipline. Oh, that's your man. Better get him for you missing that. DJ Ban Ban Bandana. All right, check this right. Before we even start this video, before we get into this, um, I know like a lot of people who's part of uh, Hassan Campbell's cult, you know, the people that be drinking the Kool-Aid and all that, following all this like nonsense and lies and stuff that he be saying. Um, but I know a lot of people that follow Hassan Campbell's probably going to think, like, oh, this came out of nowhere. He's just talking about Hassan Campbell for no reason. No, that's a lie. Hassan Campbell disrespects and lies about a lot of stuff and lies about a lot of people. Then what he does, my bad, what Sis does is that He'll put up, I'll tell you how it started, right? Between me and Hassan Campbell, I said something that Hassan Campbell didn't like, right? It was the truth. It was a fact, laid out the facts and all that. Something that he didn't like. So what did he do? He called my mother a B. He totally disrespected me. He tried to clown my city, uh, everything. The same thing he did when, when FBG Duck uh, passed away. Disrespected FBG Duck mother. Disrespected Chicago. Nipsey Hussle passed. He dis, dis, disrespected Nipsey Hussle. And y'all let that slide. But that's, that's out in California, Chicago, FBG Duck. Um, but when it comes to Buffalo, I know he's probably, his defense is going to be like, well, I wasn't talking about you per se. Yeah, this exact time you wasn't talking about me. But when you talk about Buffalo, you are talking about me because I am Buffalo. So this ain't for nobody but myself and my city because I'm not going to let you just, every time you talk about Buffalo, it's always just something bad like, oh, you from Buffalo. Ain't nothing but wild wings and, and cows and stuff up there. When you, you've never actually been here. There's real people and real stuff going on in every city. But... You know, a lot of times Hassan Campbell do a video. So even the videos where he uh, where he disrespected my mother or several videos where he, dis he disrespected his own kid, um, he'll take those videos down and then real men like myself won't take our video down. So then if you're part of his cult drinking the Kool-Aid, you would think that this just comes out of nowhere. So Hassan Campbell likes to play the victim because what he does is he'll delete his video. Like he'll say some outlandish stuff and then he'll delete his video and say, oh, I don't know why everybody making videos about me. I don't know why people were saying this. No, they're responding. It's you made an action and people had a reaction, but you just delete your action. So it looked like you being like, like you being picked on. But what we're going to do today, uh, we're going to do this video a little bit differently. Um, just so there's no type of miscommunication, there's no, you can't say you didn't say anything, you can't delete anything, we just gonna react to the live video, so we're gonna hear what you got to say, and we're gonna respond back to that. We're gonna get at Wendy Williams, too, at the end of this video, too, because Hassan swear he want, sis swear he wanna be <laughs> Wendy Williams, I don't know why, but y'all gotta wait to the end of the video when we talk about the Wendy Williams part, but I'm not gonna talk your head off, like I said, we're gonna let, we're gonna let him talk for himself and see what he got to say, we're just gonna react to that, alright, let's go. Everybody has been hitting me on this Benny the Butcher joint. Word. And stay tuned. After this video, I will be speaking on Meek Mills. That's my next video. All right, let's just stop right there. Asai, show me one person that hit you up and said anything about Buffalo or Benny. Show me one person who everybody been hit you up. Though, you got to talk about this. We want to hear your insight on that. It wasn't even really no details in the story. But according to you, you know everything that happened. You would have did something totally. Well, we know what you would do in a situation. But um, 
Yeah, show me one person that hit you up and said that you should talk about this. But that's neither here nor there. I mean, it's YouTube. You can talk about what you want. Let's go. So check it, right? We got Benny the Butcher. This is Benny the Butcher. Shout out Benny, by the way, too. Get well. In a Walmart parking lot. And shot in the leg. Benny the Butcher... Hold on, real quick. This is totally off topic, but I hate your hair. Like, this nigga got a fro, a S curl, all at the same time. But you can continue talking. My bad, my bad. I'm, I'm going to let you speak. I'm going to let you speak, sis. In Texas, in a Walmart parking lot, with probably a half a million to a million dollars worth of jewelry on, with no hammer. This is a dude that called himself Benny the Butcher. His right hand man. All right, hang on. I got to pause this. Just one more one more off-topic thing. But listen, this is totally random. Listen, I got a big-ass head, right? So when I go get my fittings, my fittings is a size 8. I ain't going to hold you. It's the, it's the top size. They don't go over an 8. But that fitted that you got, that's a 12. I know you got money. This is how I know how it's got money because you had to buy two fitteds to make that. I Don't don't lie. I know you did. You bought two of the exact same hats. You went to Dapper Dan and had him custom make you a size 15 fitted. Like, look, at this nigga got triple stitching on his fitted. You got bread, B. From the Griselda crew Was shot in the face before So they know what beef is all about This is a dude, a group of dudes That's known for selling drugs whoa. Getting money in the street uh, Whoa. Been at Warner Street I thought you was a ne Never mind. And they got caught slipping In Texas At a Walmart Alright let's pause right there right So according to you Anybody can get got Anybody can ca get caught slipping I can get caught slipping um, but you said they got caught slipping with no hammers in Texas. You got groped by a grown man. Derek Wendell, Derek Williams found you a grown man in your city on your camera. And what did you do? You ain't do nothing. You talk tough to a camera like you always do, fighting a good fight. Um, with the whole Derek Williams situation too. So you, so somebody got popped like they had a weapon. He ain't had no weapon. He found you live on your live. And when you asked him why he was doing it, he said, "Cause I can, cause I want to." And what did you do? Well, we know what you would rather do, but I mean, according to you, but that let's let's keep going. So five stick up kids was riding around Walmart looking to do a jux and just so happened to catch Benny the Butcher and his crew lacking with no hammer with all that jewelry on. And they didn't get the jewelry, but they popped them. Okay, so, I mean, that's neither here nor there. Like I said, not too many details in that situation. That It, it might have happened. I don't know. I didn't talk to them. I've seen the same reports that you've seen. But I do recall it was a it, it was a nice night, and you went to your own city, to your own hood, and you went out there because you big, bad, poppy, Popeye the Sailor Man, arms and all that, too. You OG Bobby Johnson. Everybody scared of you. You put in work. You from the streets. You gang, gang. You squad, squad. You went to your hood, and somebody threw a bottle at you live on camera. And what did you do? You looked up. Got up out of there. I've never, and I'm not saying it can't happen. I'm just saying I've never, I've never went to my hood, and I've went, went live playing. I never went to my hood, and nobody threw anything. That's all I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not an OG triple OG. I ain't got four or five bodies like you. I ain't do 20 years in the pen and all that too. So I'm just saying I'm just a regular civilian. I'm just saying that never happened to me. That never happened to them. I never seen them out. Somebody threw a bottle in like that too. But you went to your hood. This wasn't a, like he was in a different city. You was in your city where you're comfortable, where where you run stuff. Somebody threw a bottle at you. That, that's all I'm saying. It's just facts. So we we just stating facts. We're going to listen to what you got to say. Where's the footage? Footage. Okay. So you don't believe something because there's no footage, right? Um, we're, you know, we're going to talk about that a little bit later. I'm going to let you speak. Because we all know this camera's all over Walmart. Where's the footage? That's all I'm asking. Because I ain't saying it can't happen. I, I give you that. You saying that? You saying I just don't believe Benny the Butcher moves like that, and he moved that stupidly. Oh, so now he's moving stupidly. But how was you moving when they threw the bottle at you? How was you moving when Derek Williams did that to you? How was you moving when your your whole? You know the reason why people know you, Sean Campbell. And like, don't get this twisted. I'm not making fun of people who was um, kids who were like touched or anything like that when they when they were young and like that too. I'm not making fun of the. The, uh, the other community, I don't want to say that on YouTube because I don't want them to ban me, but the other, other community. Whatever you do is on your time. That's cool. But you can't believe that a rapper with jewelry on got robbed and shot and didn't have a uh, didn't have a ratchet. But you want us to believe 
that a, that you were a kid when Ben Bada did whatever he did to you, right? So that might have happened. That might, ben Bada might have did whatever he did to you. You get on YouTube crying for donations, crying for just help me. I was This happened to me as I was a kid. Da -da 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 -da. And then it comes out that it wasn't just when you was a kid. When you were a full-fledged adult, like when you were in the street, when you had, when you was bang, bang, shoot him up and all that, you took a picture with this man. Like you you was standing next to this man and did absolutely nothing. And that, where was the camera? There's a picture. The camera took a picture of you and that man next to each other. And you know what you did to that man? Absolutely nothing. You made a, a cute pet name for him. Instead of calling him Bam Bada, you call him Bam. I've never, there's no way somebody's going to do something to me and I'm going I'm to create a, a, a pet name for him. A little cute pet name. You call Bam, Bam this, Bam that. But I'm going to let you finish talking. I'm, these are just facts, though. These are just facts. Tell me I'm lying. There's not a picture of you in, I'm saying Bam, Bam Bada. I'm not calling him the name that you call him. Because that's not cool what he did if he actually did that. But you did absolutely nothing. You did nothing then. You did nothing when you got older. And even now, they just passed a law um, saying that you can go back and, and, and like, whoever did that to you, no matter how many years ago it was, you could pursue them. And what did you do? You get on YouTube crying for donations. Every video. I don't really be going live like this. Even though you do lives, you do go live like this. And I don't want nothing to happen to Bam. And I, I want him to stop because I don't want any other kids to get hurt. But you're doing nothing to do it. You didn't. Do nothing then. You didn't physically do nothing to him when you were a full-fledged gangster. And even now, in the court system, you did absolutely nothing. It was people on your channel donating money for lawyer fees for you to do this. But you got all the money. You, I mean, you got it anyways, but you did absolutely nothing. And even right now, today, you still can do it. Did absolutely nothing. So I don't want to hear about what somebody else should have did when you should have did a lot. But I'm going to let you finish talking. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe Benny the Butch is that weak. I don't and that's where the disrespect comes from. So he's weak because he got uh, allegedly possibly got robbed and, and, and shot. But you're not weak when you went to your hood and somebody threw a bottle at you. You did nothing. You're not weak when a grown man wrote you live on your channel and you put the video up for everybody to see. We would have known nothing about that if it wasn't for you. But you want us to believe that? You want us to believe that you really fighting a good fight from your car or from your house? Show me where you out marching. You already talking about my son and everybody else is out here actually doing stuff. Even me. Like, I go out. I do a lot of community service work. What do you do? You pull up a news story and you talk tough to a camera. Like, what what, what good fight are you doing? But we can continue on. I believe his crew is that weak. So now his crew is weak. Now, now nobody can get ran down. Or they're not from there. <laughs> with that moving around with half a million dollars worth of jewelry on. And they shoot us, but ain't got no hammer. I don't. But you were, and you, never mind. I don't believe it. Where's the footage? See, we're living in a day and a time where they're trying to keep us distracted. The puppet master are using the puppets to keep you distracted from the real things. That's I ain't going to hold you. I'm just distracted from that big ass fitted. Like, yo, listen, if we never talk again, like, honestly, I don't care if you hate me or not, but. I honestly need to know what size fitted that because I I wear the biggest size and that's double the size of what I wear. But I don't. That's distracting me. My bad. My bad. Let's go. What's going on in this world? So no, I don't believe that. I have to. I have to see it. Megan Thee Stallion getting shot in the foot. Boosie getting shot in the leg. Like y'all don't see what's going on. Oh, so you don't believe Megan Thee Stallion showed actual. Uh, and like I said, that, that making a stallion Tory situation, I believe it happened. I don't believe it happened like how it happened. But for you to say it, it, it just didn't happen. But you got mad when people said, when you was on, on, on YouTube crying for donations, talking about, man, they, they raided my house. They came here, they're like, you got swatted. You didn't. Get, you know what a raid is? You from the streets, you should know. Raid, knock, knock, knock. We coming in, kicking the door, guns all over the place. They peacefully and calmly came to your house and talked to you and you went all crazy. I don't see y'all yeah, 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 not really paying attention. I don't believe the situation that happened with Megan the Stallion, Stallion and Tory Lane. I, I think it's capping. I think it's I think it's BS. It's a distraction. That has really distracted. Tory yeah. Lane sitting up there talking about Megan the Stallion trying to set him up through the Illuminati and Rock Nation, but at the same time, a chick that sets you up to be locked up for a gunshot wound, you got. 10 songs on your album dedicated to her talking about you still love her okay so you say he got 10 songs dedicated to he still love her one he's an artist you express yourself artistically actually i honestly think that was the best thing that he could have done besides the interview which might have got him jammed up but you got thousands and thousands of not literally probably hundreds and probably about a thousand of videos of you crying about what happened to you as a kid with being by and you're doing absolutely nothing so what's worse 
a man allegedly did something to a female, he does 10 songs about it. You do every video talking about this and you do absolutely nothing to stop it from happening. Nothing. No court, no hands, no nothing. You don't even say nothing mean about uh, Bam Bada. I almost said Bam. Look, I got to stop. Got to stop listening to you, but let's keep going. Y'all don't seek through the bull crap. And this is exactly why my platform is as big as it is. And it keeps growing because I say what everybody else is scared to say. No, you're absolutely wrong. And that's where we're going to stop. You're a liar. Um, your platform is as big as it is, is because you got on the Internet and cried and said that a grown man did something to you. And everybody felt sorry for you. And they still give you donations and still send you money. And you're doing absolutely nothing. Your platform got bigger because you milked that situation. And still, am I, if I'm lying, I'm flying. Show me where he did something to, 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 to stop this from happening to somebody else. You show me besides getting on the camera talking tough to a camera, ooh, I'm about to go off, ooh, I'm about to curse somebody out, ooh, I'm about to be tough. Besides that, what what, what did he do? Honestly. So y'all who be drinking the Kool-Aid, I know this your king, y'all followers of uh, Hassan Campbell, not the, I'm not saying don't follow, I'm not saying don't donate, but just know the truth of it. When you donate to him, you know where it's going? Custom fitted from Dapper Dan. You know where it's going? 13 and a half carat uh, Cubans. Like, there's, I'm, I'm not even, we, we can continue on. See, I'm not trying to be friends with nobody in the industry. I ain't trying to be none of these cats' friends. And I don't trust nobody that's under Rock Nation. But you trusted a grown man moderator to come. Yo, you wind and dined him, though. Like, you took about to eat, nice drinks. Y'all had a nice little hand in hand walk and all that. And I don't know. That is the precinct. The president of Rock Nation is an FBI agent. What does that have to do with anything? Who took down two, two drug cartels. I don't trust them. Don't let them fool you. Oh, no. Don't let them fool you. It's either you stand for something or you fall for anything, man. And all of y'all falling for the bait. Exactly what he does. Get on and say, man, I don't be dropping lives like this, man. I don't, I don't want the donations right now. Oh, thank you for the donation. Yeah, I need it because I got to move out of my uh, house because everybody know where I live at. When you gave your address, you gave him the address, and then you flipped out about it. Like, I don't know, bro. A song Campbell wasn't born yesterday. It is what it is, man. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that share button. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'm not even saying don't follow him, but just know the truth of it. When you follow this man and you listen to what he's saying, I'm gonna show you exactly what um I'm gonna show you exactly what Sai Campbell does real quick. Let me just see if I can uh set this up real quick. I'm gonna show you exactly what he does. Hang on one second. Y'all hold on one second. Okay, so I'm gonna show you exactly what sis be doing, right? So sis. He'll go to a news story. Let's see. This is Los Angeles Times. I'm going to show you exactly what it does. This is going to make sense. So we'll go to... All right. I don't know why that popped up. Hang on a second. Crime. I'm going to show you exactly what he does. Okay. So man killed by gunfire and Paco Ema. Paco P Pakima. I don't know. I went to Buffalo Public Schools. I'm probably reading that word wrong. But what this does is he'll get a topic like this and then they'll say man killed by uh, gunfire and Paco Ema. So he'll get in the story... He won't donate no money to the family. He, he he won't do anything. He'll just read this story and say, you know what? Killing is wrong. And I'm the only person that say this on YouTube. Nobody else is telling y'all this. Nobody is giving y'all the facts. I'm keeping it funky. That's wrong. A man should not uh, die by gunfire. It's all a setup. That's what, it shouldn't happen. That's wrong. You shouldn't kill. If you really think about most of the stuff that sis be telling y'all, don't you know that you shouldn't kill? Don't you know that you shouldn't sell drugs? All he's doing is repeating stuff that you already know talking tough to a camera and accepting donations. I'm just saying, just know the truth when you follow this man. That's all. I, any news story, look at anything he does and ask him, what have you done to stop this? What have you done to help with this? Are you out there with my sign merchant? Are you, it, it, I'll give him this. So one time, let me go back to the, uh, to the other screen. Hang on one second. All right. So one time, uh, back when they was having the riots and stuff, it was these two young boys that was out, I guess I'm, I'm going to say, I guess, cause I don't know, was breaking in the story, something like that too. So what does sis does? What does this do? This, uh, now, mind you, he's been in the streets his whole life. He gang, gang, squad, squad, got all these bodies and stuff like that, too. So he knows what, what happens with police and, 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 and giving information and stuff like that, too. What does he do? He turns the camera on these two, <laughs> these two young boys, masks on, gloves and all that, and say, don't break in there. I know y'all been out here breaking in and stuff. Don't do that because they, they, it's a setup. They're going to take you to jail. Da -da -da -da. When you can clearly see they just came from doing something. So all the police have to do is look at your footage. And now they have the two suspects. So any other story that got hit, you just gave them that information on your channel. And you did absolutely nothing to help them out. You let them go on about their business. You didn't take down their numbers, say, yo, call, call me. I'm going to mentor you. 
You in my city. I don't want to see you out here doing that. Nope. He talked to the camera. See, I'm out here doing this. I'm, what did you do? You caught them doing something, videotaped it, damn near evidence, and then let them. Let, let, let's just finish with the video so we can get on to Wendy Williams. And stay tuned to look out for my next video that's coming up right after this one. We're going to talk about Meek Mills next. And I'm out. All right. So listen, <laughs> we're going to talk about the uh, we, we're going to get into the Wendy Williams part of it, right? Okay, so the other day, uh, Wendy Williams had something to say about uh, Benny, the, Benny the Butcher. So, and the only reason why I have time to address them both of you because I'm from Buffalo, New York, and I just don't like when, because uh, for so many years, people try to downplay Buffalo, New York, like we're not a part of New York. Um, not New York City. We never try to be a part of New York City. We just rep the whole state of New York. No problem with anybody. We rep the whole New York, but it, it, it's always something bad to say when it comes about Buffalo. And Wendy Williams should be the last person to say anything about anybody, but we're going to see we're gonna see what she had to say, right? Hold on, let's rewind this back. Here we go. First of all, I don't believe that was his Rolls Royce. Because somebody named Benny the Butcher, who we've never heard of. Clap, clap if you know who that is. No. You now, let's just pause that right there. Listen, <laughs> there's nobody in your audience. <laughs> clap if you know who that is. Like, you can hear a, a, a mouse. You can hear a, a pin drop in this room. There, there, there's no audience. Like, I don't even know her show still came on. Like, this is the biggest uh, publicity that Wendy Williams has had probably since the whole little drug situation she had when she fell out um but you should be thanking benny because now you kind of lit on the internet just for mentioning him because no I, honestly i didn't even know she was still alive but let's finish listening to what she's got to say do wait that's my assistant's assistant <laughs> oh so you asked the crowd do they know who he is and your assistant's assistant knows who he is um but wendy williams you should really be the last person to really talk about anybody because remember when he was doing the period challenge when the ladies with the big uh, butts was like taking a picture and they would spell out period Wendy Williams do that with her whole body like her body is shaped like the letter P you could do the period challenge with your whole body like honestly I don't know whether Wendy Williams used to be a, a female that got turned into a man or a man that got turned into a female I don't know but something going on with her but yeah please keep uh Buffalo and Buffalo business um off your show if you're not going to do it in a respectful manner um what do you mean you're not sure if the Rolls Royce was his I'm not sure if you're, I, I'm not even going to say that, but y'all get what I'm saying. But anyways, that's what I wanted to say about this, um, th this situation. When I seen this, I was like, you know, it's cool. You can have an opinion. You can say what you're, whatever you want to say, but when you get disrespectful with things, especially when something actually happens to somebody, uh, where, where it's like physical harm, that's kind of wrong. That's kind of messed up. And especially if you, somebody like sis, who's just misleading the people, um, no, somebody got to speak up and say something. I really wish that a lot of other people would, uh, just see through it. Like, really, honestly, at the end of the day, what are you doing besides talking tough to a camera? Sis just want to be Wendy Williams, I guess. But anyways, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you share this video. It's DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, more respected. Mr. Hashtag, I am Buffalo. We out. I feel it is jealousy, nigga, and all of my homies got felonies, nigga. Taking it back to the rap, so you know I ain't singing no melodies, nigga. Break down a brick in the trap house. Fuck it, then jump on the South B. 2500 for Montclair. On me, I step out the house. They can't stand the facts. A lot of them saying they can't stand this rap. I'm so buffalo, like I'm bandana black. But from the 716, we determined and we disciplined. Oh, that's your man. Better get him for you missing that. DJ Ban Ban Bandana.